Excuse me. I'm working in it. No, this is not how this is going to work. Do you have any manners? Ugh. Okay, stop. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mal, and this week we're making DIY candles. I've always wanted to make a candle myself and I've never done it. So I decided that I would order a DIY candle kit on Amazon. This comes with everything you need to make a candle. So I thought it would be fun for us to do it together. I'm gonna open up this box. I haven't seen anything that's in here yet. Um, yeah, I hope that this goes well. <laughs> so this box I think was $35 on Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box. So it comes with an instruction manual. Thank goodness, because I definitely need one. And then, oh, that has items in it. Some beads here. These are wax beads. Oh, we've got a lot of wax beads. Got a melting thing. This looks like a milk frother. If this never doesn't work out, you can froth your milk. That would be gross, I wouldn't do that. And then, ooh, these are the scents. Little oils. So we've got peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus, rose, lemon, and ocean. I like ocean. I might be using ocean. I think that would be good. And then, We've got these little burning instructions for the bottom, which is really good. I like that. And then it's got all of these little tins to put your candle in. So we've got a nice purple one, this really pretty kind of teal one, this pink rose one. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like that one. Another blue one that's got little teapots on it. Cute. Another teapot one. And then a kind of black, gray, purple floral. And then we've got wicks and then some colored little things, I think, to tint the candle the way we want. Okay, cool. I'm really excited about this. Okay, packaging A1. Everything's great. Let's read the instruction manual. B-wax, that's what it says, B-wax bags. Okay, awesome. We know what everything is. We're off to a good start. Okay, here we go. Let's get cracking. Step one, stick the glue dots to the bottom of the cotton wick. Okay, I guess I should pick what thing I wanna do, right? Okay, let's pick before we get ahead of ourselves here. And I wanna make it, I know it's pink, but I want to make it ocean scented. Is that weird? No, this is my candle. I can do whatever I want. Now we're really ready. Stick the glue, one of the glue dots to the bottom of the cotton wick. Okay, I'm gonna peel off this little thingy, little tab. I'm gonna take my wick and stick it on here. Okay, woohoo, we did it. Stick the cotton wick to the bottom of the candle tin, cut it to suitable length, and place it in candle tin with the wick stabilizers. What's a suitable length? So I'm gonna stick it in the middle. Here. I don't wanna cut it yet. Cause this is still, it's way out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna stabilize it with my wick stabilizer right in the middle. Pour the bee wax into the melting pot. Heat melting pot and melt beeswax. Okay, so what I don't know from this is one, how much bee wax am I supposed to put in the melting pot? And two, how am I supposed to heat it up? This is metal, so I can't microwave it. Am I supposed to put it on the stove? Am I supposed to put it in like a double broiler? So, I guess I'll just put it in a pot 
of water and heat it up that way, that's probably gonna take forever, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, then step four says put moderate, put moderate of dye, put moderate of dye blocks in the wax. Dye blocks, wax equals one gram to a thousand grams. What? Ugh. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna pour the bee wax. How much bee wax? I don't know. There's four bags of seven ounces. So if we do seven times four, we have 28 ounces divided by six. Six times four is 24. So we'll put four and a half ounces, four and a half ounces of wax in each one. Okay, I'm doing four and a half ounces. I don't know. Melting pot. Excuse me. Now I'm gonna do four and a half ounces of bee wax. That seems like a lot. Okay, that's three ounces right there. That seems like a lot of bee wax. Okay, I think I'm gonna do three and a half ounces. And if this is a little candle boy, that's fine. I think. Candle girl, that's fine. Now we must heat up our bee wax somehow. So I've got a little pot of water here. And what I'm thinking about doing is just sticking this in here it kind of floats, but I think it'll heat up a little bit. And just putting it on the stove like that. My wax is on the stove and it's kind of melting a little bit, but I think what I should do is take a little bowl and put the bee wax in the bowl and microwave bowl to melt the bee wax. Then pour the bee wax into the melting pot and then dye it. And then pour it into my candle. A few moments later. Just pour it in here. So the water was boiling, like it was hot enough. And I didn't know you had to work so fast. Why doesn't it tell you how to heat up the, the beans? That's like the most important step is heating up and melting your wax. And it just says, oh, heat it up, you're on your own. We have made a mistake. Well, I'm gonna microwave my bee wax. BRB. I'm microwaving the bee wax and it's not melting. How to melt beeswax. Melt your beeswax on low heat slowly with a double boiler. We're gonna use these Pyrex bowls from 1982 on the double boiler to melt the wax. Cause she's not melted. Melt the wax. Good luck. Okay, here we go. I've never double bubble boiled these wax before. It's on there right now. <sighs> it's starting to melt a little bit. Those three little blocks of color did not do anything. Cause it's ocean. So maybe I should put some blue in there too. We're doing it. We're adding blue. It's an ocean candle. Oh, blue. Where were you going? Huh? 
This is gonna be the tiniest candle of all time. I feel like I need to do a second layer of wax. Okay, so these are mounted. Does beeswax evaporate? That's the dumbest question ever. Okay, I'm gonna remove it from the heat because at 65, we need to add the flavor dye. The flavor dye, the, the smell dye. Okay, so I've got ocean and I'm just gonna drop a freaking. I'm adding a lot. I want this to be a potent candle. I'm not measuring. Somebody said they put half a bottle in there, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's not even close to half a bottle. All right, that's good. Ooh, that smells pretty good. All right, I wanna smell the other ones. Okay, lavender. Pretty good. Peppermint. I don't like that one. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents, so if this is disappointing, I'll be sad. Yeah, that's sad. Ugh. That's gross. Okay. Rose. It smells like roses. Rose is good. And finally, lemon. Lemon smells like uh, kitchen clean, kitchen cleaning spray. So we're gonna stick with ocean. Lavender was good. Got my dye. And I'm gonna just. Mm. Oh no, it got on the table. <laughs> it got all over the table. Okay, the directions say, add fragrance to the monkey pot and stir evenly, we did that. Cool down bee wax to 55 degrees Celsius and pour it into the candle tin. I didn't do that, I just went straight from the stove to the candle tin, oh well. Replenish the wax if there's a depression. She's a full girl. Then you will get a beautiful candle designed by your own. The fragrance can bring happiness. Close your eyes, freely enjoy the sense of smell. All right, so now I guess what I do is just leave this in here for this to dry, right? It's hot. Ooh, she's hot. No duh, you're so stupid. Of course it's hot. All right, well, I'm just gonna let that dry and I'll be back when it dries. Okay, so it's been about 30, 45 minutes, and I think my candle is a little dry, a little bit, not completely dry. It's still a little wet in the middle, but I think we may have done it, everyone. It's, yeah, it's still really warm inside. So I will let this dry probably overnight before I try to light it or do anything crazy, but yeah. I think that was fun. I don't know that I would recommend this specific kit unless you already kind of know what you're doing, um, but it is a pretty good price, pretty good value if you wanna just try like I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're down there. I upload a brand new video every single week. And if you want me to make more videos like this, be sure to let me know. This was a lot of fun, so I would like to do it again with maybe a different DIY project. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.